What's up guys, it's me Brian and today I'll share with you a few things that you need to prepare for Mount Kinabalu hike but before we start, make sure to check out my previous video where I actually recorded my experience uh, when I was hiking Mount Kinabalu so I'll put it around here, I'll link it around here so feel free to go check it out but finish this video first up before you go check out that video okay so if you like this kind of content, remember to like and subscribe and without further ado let's go so the first thing you need to prepare is the type of clothing so Kinabalu hike consists of uh, two days day one is more of a casual i would say casual hike where you actually hike from the timpohon gate which is the starting point to the panalaban panalaban base camp so the hike for first day i would say will take about four to around six or seven hours depends on your own fitness and the first day will be quite tiring because it will be a lot of stairs for you to hike so on the first day, I would recommend you to wear like hiking t-shirts, like breathable t-shirts, uh, track pants, hiking shorts, and that's about it lah. For in terms of clothing for day one, for day two is more intense because it's the summit hike. So you will start the hike around two a.m. ish, uh, in the midnight. So the temperature will be very very cold. So this, for the second day, you will need to prepare thermal wears, a lot of thermal wears. Oh. So this is the thermal wear that I actually brought with me for the hike. These are actually the Uniqlo heat tag. I think you guys are aware of what is a Uniqlo heat tag. Otherwise, you can actually go Uniqlo store to check it out. So they are more of a kind of undergarment kinds of uh, clothing. So you wear it inside and then you can wear a t-shirt on top of it. And then you can wear your fleece jacket, your windbreaker um, as the outerwear. And don't forget to wear your scarves, your neck warmers on your beanie to keep your ears and your head warm as well and of course you cannot forget gloves gloves are very important for the second day so i will recommend you to wear gloves like this i'm not sure if you can see it so this kind of gloves are first of all waterproof they are it's very important for your glove to be waterproof and second of all it provides a lot of friction because the second day you need to grab a rope to hike to the summit so for example if you wear like this kind of uh, glove so they are like cotton gloves they are not waterproof and they do not provide friction so It'll be very slippery and quite dangerous as well for you for the second day hike and of course don't forget about extra socks sandals and flip-flops socks i would recommend around three or four pairs because um second day hike so the submit you'll wear one and you can you might want to change to a new pair of socks once you reach your base camp because you might not want to wear the same socks that have a lot of sweat you know from that earlier four or five hours hike from the starting point so same thing for sandals and flip-flops you might not want to wear your flip your hiking shoes you know around base camp you might want to chill a bit so you can wear like sandals and flip-flops which are more comfortable for you the next thing you need to prepare is a small backpack so on day one you actually bring all your luggage the big the big backpack you know from starting point to the base camp but on your summit hike you do not want to do that it will be very very tiring so i would recommend you to bring a small backpack with you for the next day hike to the summit so for first day right if your luggage is too much for you to carry from the starting point to the base camp you can actually hire a porter a porter is someone who can actually carry your stuff for you so you don't have to carry all the luggage from the base camp and oh, sorry from the starting point to the base camp so i'll try to find a list of the porter fees and i'll include around here so if I didn't manage to find it, you will see me doing this for nothing. And the third thing you need to bring is a headlamp. So these headlamps are very, very important for your second day hike. As I mentioned earlier, the hike will actually start at 2 a.m. at the midnight and it will end around uh, sunrise time, which is around 6, 6.30ish. So in between that time, it's very, very dark. Of course, there's no uh, uh, lamp pole there in the mountain. So you need to bring your headlamp. It's very important for you. And of course, we cannot forget some extra foods and snacks and water as well. During my trip, uh, they do provide me lunch for the first day of the hike. And of course, uh, they also provide me dinner uh, at the base camp and breakfast as well um, before we start our summit hike. But throughout the journey, you might get hungry. So I would suggest you to bring extra energy bars and a lot of water and energy drink as well. So I would recommend... Um, Amino Vital from Ajinomoto. I'll put an image around here as well. The next thing I want to touch on is actually the sleeping bag. So at my base camp, they actually provide uh, comforters and bed, bed sheet and stuff. 
but for me it can be quite cold at night that's why uh, I bring the my sleeping bag to get uh, extra warm as well so this is not compulsory but uh, if you're afraid of cold then it's recommended for you to bring uh. and of course one of the main tool for hiking is the hiking pole don't forget about your hiking pole so hiking pole is very important for you for first day of hike because uh, there are a certain area that's quite steep and you might need extra support so hiking pole can be very very useful for you for your day one hike for day two uh, I would say not as much because day two um, day two hike is to submit and the first point is they provide ropes uh, on, on the submit there so you can actually grab the rope to hike so if you grab the rope and then the other hand you need to grab like um, your pole your hiking pole then uh, might not be so safe la. and speaking of safety so this is actually my first aid kit right here and I will suggest you guys to bring some form of uh, first aid supplies to, to your account in Mount Kinabalu hike Mount Kinabalu hike because ultimately uh, hiking involves certain kind of risks so it's always be prepared la, to have this kind of uh, first aid supplies so whenever you need them you have them and of course you can bring your sunblock with you as well and for those who have uh, high altitude sickness uh, you can bring your own uh, medication as well because I do see some people um, hike halfway and then they U-turn back because they cannot make it due to high altitude sickness la. so those are the few things that I would recommend you guys to bring in terms of first aid kit, uh, first aid supplies, uh, sunblock and uh, medication for high altitude sickness and coming back to the two day one night hike so you will be staying at the base camp so that means you need to bring your own toiletries but they provide tissue la, so this is just an example so remember bring your own toiletries as well your toothbrush toothpaste etc and last of all the most important thing is of course your hiking shoes i know what you're gonna say like come on hiking of course you're gonna bring hiking shoes right but when i say hiking shoe i mean like those uh, higher quality hiking shoes la. so these are actually my uh, hiking shoes that i wore to kinabalu hike they have uh, seen better days so this cost me about I think 130 ringgit 130 140 ringgit so make sure when you buy a uh, hiking shoes make sure they provide a lot of friction and of course uh, ankle support ankle support means uh, make sure the opening here is quite high so it provides cushion for your ankle you do not want to twist your ankles when you're during the hike it's gonna be very very bad for you so I would say a good pair of hiking shoes can cost you about um 110 120 to up to like 200 plus range so uh, i would say invest in a good quality hiking shoe because uh, you definitely need it so i think that's about wrap it for today's video there's a website where you can also access to gain more information about the kinabalo hike the trips and etc i'll link it down in the description below so you can go and check it out so i think that's about wrap it for today's uh, video thank you for watching and if you have any other recommendation or advice and tips on hiking please do share with us down in the comment section i would like to discuss more with you and i'll catch you in the next one peace